Okay, so this morning, uh, Tommy ran some material test cards on the new Bolt. It is a 30 watt. RF right? tube. Yeah, 30 watt RF tube. So it's, it's different than uh, everything else that we have in the shop so far. Um, and we're not necessarily going to be doing any of this stuff um, on the Bolt, but we know other people will. Uh, we have other machines for, for these things. So this is suede picture matting. Um, so it's got kind of like a, a fuzzy a fuzzy finish to it. Um, it. The bolt cuts it, it technically engraves it, but it doesn't give the look that I like on the engraving very quickly, um, just burns everything. Um, so and then that's not, that's not a look I'm, I'm going for when we do this um, for some of our, our items that we sell. Let's move on to leatherette. This is one of the dreaded metallic leatherettes. This is blue and silver. As you can see, it actually did really nicely and you've got several settings to choose from, which is great um, that you have some wiggle room. Um, that's, that's just really nice. Um, oh, by the way, everything today was, was focused with the autofocus and we were using the 1.5 lens. Um, as you can see, it, it cut everything too. Um, and then again, we have options for, for engraving. So this is fantastic. Here we have uh, same leatherette, but this is red and black. Um, similar uh, cut settings, looks like it did pretty much the same. Um, over here, it did these this lettering really nicely. Everything's easy to read. Um, not necessarily as happy with some of these bigger areas where it removed, um, but up here, at, you know, at a thousand speed, we've got, you know, some things that might work. So here we go back to some of the dreaded um, metallics. This is brown and silver. Um, it's okay. Uh, this definitely needs some more tweaking and some more work. Um, figuring out, you know, do we need to defocus? What do we need to do uh, to get optimal results for this material? Now we have the brown and gold. And it did okay. Again, not as good as the blue and silver. Um, definitely needs some tweaking over here where it was engraving some of the words. Some of this looks really nice. Um, some other places, not so much. Maybe it wasn't perfectly flat. I wasn't actually in here when that was happening. Um, so again, maybe this, this particular color needs a, a defocus or something. All right, now we are moving on to real leather. This is veg tanned leather. Um, as you can see, it, it cut through, um, nicely. Um, you know, did, did really well. And it, it engraved it but I'm not sure that, you know, that's something that we would really be doing with this, with this material. Um, the UV is what we would use for leather. It gives it, it gives it a nice look. So this was a bit uh, mankier off cut um, cause we buy um, a whole side of, of, of cow for our leather, um, not just, you know, sheets and stuff. So he threw this piece in, it's quite a bit thicker. As you can see, it, it almost cut through, but not quite. Um, again, it, you know, it did cut, um, some at some of these lower speeds, you know, 15, 10, five. Um, but whatever this, this outer cut setting was, it, it didn't quite make it. It's a little too fast and technically engraved it. But again, um, this is the reason why we have different machines so that we can get the exact look that, that we want for every item. Now we will look at some of the two-toned acrylics. Uh, this is uh, orange with white. Um, as you can see, it cut nicely. Um, it still has that little bit of sticky like it does on the, on the, on the, uh, the other lasers. So I think that's just a material problem. Um, but it's, it's really not bad, but we can see we've got some really nice whites up here in a thousand, um, that I am extremely pleased with. Now he did another test where he used the squares. This is one of the light burn generated 
test files. Um, some things moved. He had some problems. Um, but no big deal. We can see exactly what we need to see. Um, and again, up here at 1,000, it doesn't look too bad. It's not quite as clean as it was over here on this other one. So, you know, I'm not really sure what exactly happened there. But still, really not bad. Now we've got some of this that has the 3M backing, so that alters how it cuts just slightly. Um, but you can see it's still cut nicely. This is like a brushed gold uh, that engraves to black. And there's some settings, again, you know, up here, you know, 800, 1,000 that, that are totally good. Um, so all in all, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with, with how the, the little bolt did. So you just heard from Lois, um, and now I want to talk about this shape right here. So some people will argue that the using this test file and all these little little holes doesn't really give you an accurate uh, picture of how it's going to cut or what it's going to cut. Um, and there's, I absolutely agree with it, but at least when you're doing this, it gives you a rough starting point. So if I see here that it cut at 25 speed and 50, but it didn't cut at 40, we've done enough testing and, and playing around with it to know that, you know, I'm going to, we're going to jump up here to 60 just to be on the safe side. Um, however, this shape right here is a fantastic design to set up cut settings for your testing purposes. Um, it's a square and then... Technically, it should be a circle sitting on top, but, you know, I'm not an artist. Um, but to do it in light burn, it's a circle. Then you put a square underneath of it, and you cut away all this. Just to give you a general idea. Uh, this gives you a, a lot more accurate, because you have the 90 degrees, and then around, and ovals. Uh, it will help you with your men in max power. So, once we know that okay, this is going to cut, then we can do this design to now start playing with and fine-tuning what our cut settings are going to be. This gets us a, a rough overall picture. This will give us a little bit more detailed uh, idea of the settings. And again, we engraved all of these with the same focal distance, which is whatever the autofocus is set to which for ours, after we ran ramp tests, is 1.7. Um, I've got my air turned all the way up, but my nozzle is lifted all the way up. So some settings can vary uh, based on where your air is and how much air and your, your focus. So when y'all start asking for what's your settings, what's your settings, what's your settings, it's not just about... Well, I ran this at 525 and 20 for an engrave or whatever for a cut. It's about the amount of air. It's about the focal distance. There is a laundry list of crap that goes into this. So my suggestion is take the time, do your own damn testing. Stop asking everybody for settings. You know, unless you're just trying to get a general starting idea. And then guess what? This is a fantastic way to get a general starting idea. Uh, um, if you have any questions, let us know. Other than that, y'all have a great day.